Good day chaps. So today's video is going to cover one of my favourite vehicles, both from a conceptual standpoint and also for its sleek and attractive looks. It is the Swedish Stealth Tank, the CV9120 Adaptive, also referred to as the Ghost. A prototype tank, near invisible to modern detection systems, yet one that is able to rapidly redeploy and pack the offensive and defensive capability to rival any main battle tank. The base vehicle is the CV90-120, itself a variation of the famous CV90, considered by most leading experts to be the finest IFV ever made. Designed and built by BAE Systems in Haglunds, Sweden, the CV90 program began in the early 80s, with a requirement by the Swedish Defence Material Administration, the FMV, and entered service in 1993. The CV90 has since gone on to serve in seven European nations, with over 1,200 made, and has gathered interest around the world. Over the 20 years it has proven itself both in technology and in combat to be a truly excellent machine. The CV90 has also proved extremely adaptable to form the basis of a wide range of support vehicles, from the Armadillo APC, one of the toughest and fastest in its class, to the mighty Mjolnir, and its fully automatic mortars, able to saturate entire grid squares in minutes, and lives up to its mythical namesake in capability. While the CV90 is able to handle a wide variety of targets with either its 30, 35 or 40mm cannon and anti-tank guided missiles, there was a need for a more traditional gun, and this is where the CV90-120 comes in. The CV90-120 was designed to provide the Swedish infantry units with an anti-armour capability replacing the ageing IKV-91 that had been in service with the Swedish Army from the mid-70s. Armed with a powerful high-pressure 120L50 smoothbore gun, the CV-90-120 was first displayed publicly in 1998 and was built to operate in the harsh Swedish winter conditions, with little or no roads, sub-zero temperatures and terrain that would be near impassable for heavier main battle tanks. The CV-90-120 packs the firepower to deal with any modern main battle tank at a long range while being light and mobile enough to operate in areas they cannot counter and the protection required to survive those few vehicles that would try and pursue the vehicle in its own backyard. But this was only the beginning for the 120, for while it proved to be a mobile and well protected and deadly platform, it could still be improved upon and this was done by adding the adaptive concealment package to create the vehicle CV9120 Ghost. Although it's worth adding, this name isn't actually official. It was a nickname used by those working on it, which got picked up by a journalist and then printed, and the name kind of stuck. The adaptive package came about after the Swedish Defence Material Administration commissioned BAE Systems to produce a full-scale technology for land vehicles that would avoid detection by thermal sensor systems and it came online in 2011. The adaptive system is based on sheets of applique armour that can be attached to almost any surface from tanks to ships and even helicopters and consists of interlocking hexagonal layered tiles that can alter their temperature very quickly to match the surrounding terrain to mask the vehicle from any infrared based thermal optic device. Onboard processors monitor the vehicle's surrounding ambient temperatures and adjust the tiles to admit the same infrared levels while micro cameras observe the surrounding terrain and can alter the thermal pattern to match those on either side of the vehicle. This technology allows the machine to blend into its surroundings, be it in front of trees, in the open or elsewhere. It can even mimic other vehicles by altering the pattern to form new shapes, from animals such as elk, civilian vehicles, and even the shape and outline of enemy vehicles to disguise itself. To prevent friendly fire or pass on a message without using communications, it can even quickly display text or unit markings on its panels for quick identification purposes. This allows the CV-90-120 stealth tank to operate at night and be undetectable to many current thermal cameras. While it's not invisible to low-light image intensification devices, these are not sufficient as the human eye, and so the correct use of camouflage and netting to break up the outline can still make it very effective against these devices. 
nor does it need to actually be painted black. This was just done for marketing promotional material to make it look even more attractive than it already is. The vehicle can take regular camouflage paint over the top of the adaptive tiles. Its own onboard state-of-the-art detection system includes panoramic thermal sights and a hunter-killer system. Meanwhile, it'll be sure to pick up your own vehicle long before you spot him. The vehicle is also very hard to detect with radar when stationary due to its low shape and angled surfaces, as well as radar absorbing capability, which offer defensive protection from prowling helicopters. The stealth tank also comes with a wide variety of soft kill and hard kill active defense systems, which can detect and destroy incoming missiles or warn the crew if any enemy vehicle is scanning the area and from what direction and range while its own onboard radar system can detect rounds, enemy movement and even incoming top attack munitions to allow the vehicle to move out of the way. The radar is shaped and designed to prevent no movement while scanning a large area. Rather than produce smoke to try and hide the vehicle, the stealth tank can instead produce a cloud of multispectral aerosol, a cloud that prevents the radar and laser guided missiles from locking on its position, while at the same time it can make its own escape and the traditional use of thermal cameras to see through the smoke would also fail, as the ghost would simply change its thermal signature to match the cloud of smoke. The rest of the vehicle is similar to the CV-90 fleet, a three-man crew with a driver to the front right-hand side and a gunner and commander in the turret, a fully automatic main gun able to fire 14 rounds a minute, even on the move, with a gun depression of minus 8 degrees and an elevation of plus 22 degrees, while secondary protection comes in the form of a coaxial 7.62mm and a remote weapon station, plus the above-mentioned integrated soft kill and hard kill defensive aid suites. Mobility was originally provided by a powerful 800 horsepower engine, although this has since been uprated to 1000 horsepower, giving it a top speed of 80 km an hour, which makes the vehicle very fast and nimble. The use of rubberized tracks is standard, not only to lower the weight, but to reduce the acoustic detectability, even at high speeds. The engine exhaust is mixed and regulated to produce no thermal variations or distinct smoke trail, while the low adaptive skirts not only mask the wheels, but help to prevent dust from being kicked up. The CV9120 Ghost has a date only one vehicle made to demonstrate the conceptual ideas and has been tested with excellent results. Although no sales have been acquired, the Ghost remains an excellent concept in an age of warfare that relies increasingly on digital detection at long range and offers an insight into the forward thinking and revolutionary concepts taking place at Haglands. Well guys, I hope you liked that video on the Ghost Tank. It's one of my favourite because it just looks drop dead gorgeous. That's something like Batman would come up in the Batcave. I absolutely adore this machine. If you did like this video, do give us a like or a subscription below. We also have a Discord channel where you can come and talk absolute bollocks about tanks all day long and uh, have a look at all the extra pictures and things that we have or chat with like-minded tanky people. So until next time, toodle pip.